hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno so in today's video we'll be walking through the process of connecting to a Ubuntu machine that's running on um, Amazon's AWS services um, on online services or services on the cloud right now I'm logged into AWS and I've already created a, an Ubuntu machine here I have an instance of uh, Ubuntu machine and it's already running here as you can see the state of the instance is running now if I click on the instance we'll see the details of it you have your uh, ID the IP address what we are concerned with is the public IP address which is right here and also you can use the public IP address if you're trying to connect to this virtual machine remotely another option you can use the public DNS name here. So either this or the, the public IP, one of these two. Now, before you connect to this machine, uh, this is a T2 micro. That's the type of instance I'm running. The main thing to check here is, is to check that you have uh, inbound security rules that allow SSH, we'll be using SSH. And then you wanna make sure that you're allowing um, specific IP addresses to connect to this machine now if i click on the um, if you go under security for that instance and then you go to the security groups which is where you configure uh, the it's like a network firewall for these uh, virtual machines that are hosted on uh, aws and then you should have a rule similar to this one that's allowing a traffic type of ssh actually you can you come to edit if you don't have a rule you can add one but i already have a rule here that's allowing ssh uh, on port 22 and then you, the source IP it's recommended to use uh, your IP by selecting my IP that narrows down the IPs that can connect to this machine but for this lab I'm, I'm allowing everything all IPs that's why I have 0.0.0 slash 0 means all IPs so you just want to make sure you at least have that that rule before you try to connect I'll cancel this now the next thing we'll do here I'll show you where to check information you'll need as far as the username when you're connecting you should already have a key for this instance that you i'm assuming when you created the instance you download the downloaded the private key that you'll need to in order to do your ssh connection we'll go ahead and uh, go back to the instance again and then here you, you can see for the type of actions again you can see all the the different options but i'm looking to connect to it so I can click on the, uh, the instance again and up here you see it says connect and then you'll see the different options you can use ec2 instance instance connect if you have that option and it tells you how to connect with that and here's the username but we'll be using ssh client so when you're using ssh client this is the information you need mainly this is the uh, public DNS. You can either use the public DNS or the IP. And then, of course, you'll need the key. So this is the full command. You, If you're running from the command prompt, this is what you, you'll need to, to type in. We'll go ahead and use this right here. The, this is the name of my key. Key10.pem. Uh, and this is already downloaded onto my computer. Now, since I'm... Uh, connecting using the command prompt i'll open it on my windows 10 machine you love you can use actually use powershell as well now i have my command prompt open here the first thing you want to do now before you put in your uh this command right here in in your command prompt or powershell you want to make sure you navigate to the folder where you have that uh the private key that you downloaded when you created your your instance on uh, aws so I'll change, I have it in my downloads. I'll go to downloads and then the folder it's under is AWS keys. So now I'm in that folder and if I do a DIR, this is the, the name of the key right here. Now I can go ahead and uh, put in this command. So you can actually copy it. Highlight it, copy, then you can paste it here. So I'll 
copy this and I'll paste it here again it's uh, the command is ssh dash i then the name of your key in quotation marks which is key 10 dot pem the username that you have provided with right here and then add sign and then it's a, either the public dns name or your public ip now you can press enter and now i'm i'm logged in as you can see here this is the uh the actual virtual machine you can say who am i DNM. so I, I was able to connect to, the, to this machine that's hosted on aws from a windows 10 computer and i uh, I'm using uh, my command prompt. I hope this is uh, useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.